Tell you what, with all these images staring me in the face, I am in the mood for creating a greeting card. What do you say? Let's do this. Go into folder 11. I believe that's where I want to be. And I do have three photos of San Francisco that we have used in a panorama. So I want to create kind of like a travel card. I left my heart in San Francisco kind of thing going on. And I need an image and I've got the three. Now I can choose more than one. I think this is the one I want. I'm pretty sure. If I double click to open it up, it's got the Golden Gate Bridge back here. I'm going to double click again and take us right back out of there. All right, select it. Come over here to the word create. Now look at what you've got here. Look at all this stuff. The photo book is really neat. I love their calendars. Collages, instant movies, DVD with menu. You can put your photos on a DVD, give them to all your relatives, and torture them with your travel stuff. We're going greeting card here, so go ahead and select that. Now, the first thing it's going to ask us is do we want to print locally or do we want to go through Shutterfly? Now, we're going to use Shutterfly. The process is the same. It's not any different how you set it up but it will give you a chance to see if you want to use a professional service, how it works. And it doesn't cost anything for the service. It just costs for what you print. I want this on maybe a flat, kind of like a postcard, 4x8. Now over here we can choose a theme, and they do have one down here called Trips. I think that's the one I want. And then it's asking for two images. We'll handle that in a minute. Click Autofill with Selected Images. Go ahead and click OK. And here we go. Now let me go ahead and double click on the zoom tool here. Make that a little bit bigger. Maybe this one here. Let's make it a little bit smaller so we can see everything. We have a title at the top and it's hard to read but it says greeting card text here. Now the problem is this. Don't fill that text in until we're done because if we change the formatting of the document like the background that's going to go back to title here, greeting card text here. So we want to save that till the end. We also have a click here to add a photo which we need a photo, we only selected one. So if we click here, actually let me pick up my selection tool, we can select photos. Now these are the photos that we actually put the watermark on. And to save time, I'll just go ahead and select one of those. Andy's stuff. Now that's way too big. So I'm going to get in here and double click on it. Now I can change the size right here. And I can rotate it if I want to. We can choose another photo if we change our mind. And let's do this one too. That's a little bit too big. Now, of course, we can move it left or right, just like that. Let's go ahead and set that. So we've got two photographs. I don't really like that background as much as I thought. I would like to be able to change the background, no problem. If you come over here, you've got pages. Okay, some have more than one page. Go to Layouts then. Now, in layouts, we can change the layout itself. Like, for example, here's one with three images. And here's the one we have. Let's go back to that one for now. You can change that if you want to. If I want to change the actual background itself, go to graphics. Now, the graphics that you see here will be dependent upon which one of the greeting cards you chose. Christmas cards would be different than this, obviously. So if you want to change the background to something else, like here's North America, and that is San Francisco, and that is in North America, we could double click and try that one. You say, well, I don't know, it's not too bad. I think I like that. Come down a little bit further and see all these different backgrounds, again, are based on what we've chosen. If we come down far enough, you'll see frames. Now, if I select this image right here, this one is called Stamp. I like that one. I'm going to do those in stamps. And if we keep going down, eventually you'll find graphics themselves. Now, here's Travel Maps. That might be kind of cool. Let's go ahead and select that one. Incidentally, these are all vector, which means if we do resize them, making them larger and or smaller, basically it will not impact their quality. Let's go ahead and put that right about there. We've got a compass rose. Let's do that one too. A bit too big, so we'll make it smaller. And maybe put that right about here. As you can see, well, you're in control. Now would be the time if you're ready to put in the title and the text. I can come in here and I can select it and I can actually change it to anything I want to. I can come into my options for text and change the font, size, whatever I want. Okay, let's go ahead and get back out of here. Now our choices are, do I want to save it and then maybe print it later? Or do I want to order? 
If you don't use the Shutterfly option that we did, the Order button obviously won't be there. You even have a Print button over here. Let's go in Order. Let me show you this. Click OK. And it's preparing it for ordering. And here we go. That didn't take too long. Now there's my card. I can give it a project name, San Francisco. The minimum quantity is 12, but you can order a whole lot more than that if you want to, up to 1,000. Do you want matte or glossy? Eh, think matte. Here are the prices over here. That's per card, 89 cents US per card for 12, so 89 times 12. The next step here is select the recipients. Now your recipients can be your mailing addresses, you can put them in manually if you want to. This is where I'm going to stop because I really don't want to order this card. But I would put them in here and then I would say next, add to order. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back and cancel. Just to double check, are you sure you want to cancel this project? Yes, I do. Well, there you go. Basically, what you've got is a greeting card, any card, Christmas card, whatever you want. You choose the images, you choose the background. You choose the graphics, you choose the method of printing, all here inside Photoshop Elements Editor and Organizer.